In this video, I want to talk about projections. I'm going to show you what they actually are intuitively, and then we're going to do a simple example. So let's look at two pictures. So the first picture, I'll call pick one. And in this example, theta is an acute angle. So theta is acute. So here's the picture. So we have a vector, which we'll call u. I'm going to draw it like this. So this is our vector u. Then down over here, we have another vector, which I'll call v. And then over here, uh, we have another vector, which I'll call w2. And so the idea is, uh, you have this vector u, and you're projecting it onto v. So if you kind of think of it as collapsing down onto v, you would get another vector, which I'll call w1. So w1 here has a name. This is the projection of u onto v. So onto v. And if you think about it, that's what's happening, right? You have this vector u here, and you're dropping it down. You're projecting it onto v. Literally, that's what's happening. It's like, think of it falling down. So w1 is this vector here in, in, in the blue. And that would be the projection of u onto v. w2 also has a name. w2 is the vector component component, it's the vector component of u, orthogonal, that means perpendicular, to v. So it's perpendicular uh, to v. They form a 90, there's a 90 degree, uh, 90 degree angle here. This one's also called the vector component of u along v. So the idea is pretty simple. You know, you have a vector u and you're projecting it onto another vector. Note, using uh, vector addition, u is equal to w1 plus w2, right? Because you have w1 here and then you have w2 here. So if you add these two vectors, you're just going to get u. Uh, and this also implies that w2 is equal to u minus w1. Okay, it's equal to u minus uh, w1. I'm going to put that in a box. That's a very useful formula. Uh, a lot of times the questions will ask you uh, for you know the orthogonal component. So the vector component of u orthogonal to v. So that's that's w2. So it's important to keep that in mind. Now in order to find w2, uh, you have to find w1, which is the actual projection. So there's a formula for that. So w1, the formula is the following. So the notation we use is it's the projection. So proj, that's typically uh, the notation that's used of u onto v. Okay, so the projection of u onto v. And the formula is u dot v. So that goes in the numerator. Then in the denominator, you have the magnitude of v squared. So this is a scalar here. Okay, this is a scalar. And it's being multiplied by the vector v, okay, by the vector v, okay. Um, you can rewrite this if you like. Uh, you can write it as follows. Watch this. You can write this as u, it's pretty cool, dot v, okay, over the magnitude of v. And then you can multiply this, right, this is a scalar still, by a vector over the magnitude of that vector. And so this here, if you take a vector and you divide it by its own magnitude, I don't know if you remember this, but you get a unit vector. So this is a unit vector in the direction 
this is a unit vector in the direction of v. And then you're multiplying it by um, this scalar right here. So the scalar, we can give it a name, we can call it k. So k is u dot v, just extra life knowledge here, over the magnitude of v. And this is called the scalar component of u in the direction of v. So this is the scalar component. of u in the direction of v. The direction of v. Lots of terminology, uh, you know, when it comes to projections. People, I think, often think projections are confusing. It's not really that bad, you know, and the problem is all you have to do is use this formula, and then to find w2, you use this one. So this is the formula we want to know right here, this one, and then this is for the um, vector component of u orthogonal to v. Let's go ahead and do a simple example of computing a projection. Let's see, uh, I have one here, I haven't done it. Uh, let's see, let me switch colors here. So EX means example. So we have U, and U is going to be the vector um, 6, 7. And then V, V is going to be the vector um, 1, 4. And so all we have to do is use the formula. So we're going to need u dot v. So let's go ahead and work that out. So u dot v. So at the dot, these you multiply. So you do 6 times 1 plus and then 7 times 4. So that's 6 uh, plus 7 times 4 is 28. So we're going to get 32, uh, 34. Four. <laughs> Don't want to mess up, right? So uh, 6 plus 28 is 34. So u dot v is 34. So we have that piece. That takes care of the top piece here. And then we need the magnitude of v. So the magnitude of v is the square root of the sum of the components squared. So 1 squared plus 4 squared. So it's going to be 1 plus 16, so 17. So that's the magnitude of v. So now let's go ahead and carefully uh, write the formula down. So the projection of u onto v is equal to, so it's u dot v, so we worked that piece out already, that's going to be uh, 34. Then on the bottom we have the magnitude squared. So the magnitude is the square root of 17, so when you square it you just get 17. And then times our vector v, which is 1 comma 4. Well, look at that. 34 over 17 is 2. So this is 2 times 1 comma 4. And then you distribute the 2, so 2, 8. So this would be the projection of u onto v. So this is the projection of u onto v. Now, if we wanted to find um, the vector component of u orthogonal to v, so that would be um, w2. Remember, that's the orthogonal component. So w2, according to our formula, is u minus w1. Remember, this is w1. The projection was, was w1. So u is 6, 7. That's the vector with components 6 and 7. And then w1 is 2, 8. Subtracting here, we get 6 minus 2 is 4, and 7 minus 8 is negative 1. And that would be the vector component of u orthogonal to v. And then this one here is our projection. Right. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.